Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today we are going to go through an Etsy shop critique. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Um, Today I am going to be going through a shop critique on Etsy. I will be doing these probably, you know, two to four times a month, um, maybe more depending on how popular they are. And I will go through an Etsy shop and go through a few listings, um, provide some feedback and hope that that will help somebody in their Etsy and digital download journey. And hopefully by watching this, y'all will also get some value out of it as well. So today we are going to be going through uh, Fluff Illustrations and she has a digital download shop that sells uh, floral SVGs and illustrations and I will include the link to her shop in the description below if you would like to check it out. I'm going to go ahead and move on over to my computer screen so you all can see what I'm doing and we will begin. So I already have her page opened up here. And you can see that she does have a very nice um, banner um, for her shop. The designs that she has created are incorporated here, which is really nice. You can see that she has really um, pretty work. The only thing that I could recommend about the banner image is this text right here. This fluff illustration text is very difficult to read. And so you may want to consider changing that uh, clipping mask or pattern or overlay or whatever it is that you used to something that's a little bit more readable. So that would be my suggestion there. Um, coming down, um, she does have a little logo here. So if this is going to be the logo that you're utilizing for your shop, you may want to start utilizing that, uh, you know, in the corner of your promo image, um, your uh, banner rather, and your promo images. Um, she's been open since 2020, so very brand new shop here. And uh, I went ahead and clicked on favorite because it doesn't hurt to do that. Um, always supporting my fellow sisters and brothers in the design world. And coming down here, uh, the first thing that I noticed is the shop promo images on the listings are very inconsistent and so I do recommend a level of consistency when listing your files if you plan to use a mock-up like this floral pumpkin right here which is gorgeous by the way I am gonna favorite that right now um, you should definitely have a mock-up as your first image with um, I would recommend putting some sort of bottom bar that lists what type of file formats you're providing um, with your logo. So just to show you what that looks like, I will go to um, my shop and you can see what that looks like. So you can see that I have a side banner on most of mine unless I'm utilizing a mock-up and then I will use the bottom banner so I can show more of the uh, realistic looks of that. By doing that, you're letting your customer know what file types are gonna be coming with the file right off the jump and so there's no questioning uh, what they'll be getting. So I do recommend um, getting that on your promo listings as soon as you can. Um, the other thing is just like I said, the inconsistency with the first image, um, that bottom bar will definitely help keep things consistent, but it will also give your shop a more professional feel. Um, and it looks like you do have a lot of these, uh, really pretty floral designs. These mock-ups are good. I would definitely use them in your listings, but getting that bottom or sidebar on there for the branding or however you feel like you want to get that up there is good. I see you have some circles on some of the photos, but again, mm -hmm. they're inconsistent. So you do want to make sure that there are some consistencies there. Okay. Um, your, you do have shop sections, so that's good. Um, it looks like you do have some physical products here, which I would highly recommend removing and separating from your digital 
products because that's just going to really confuse people. So I'm going to go ahead and click and see what's going on here. And you do in fact have digital products. So we don't want to confuse people, right? Um, if we're providing a digital good, um, we don't want to mix in physical goods because then sometimes people can make the mistake thinking, oh, this is a fantastic deal. I can buy this for $3 and get it shipped to me as a print or a transfer. And we don't want to make that confusion because I would say 80% of the time people do not read your descriptions. Okay. So I would highly recommend removing, if you are going towards all digital, create a second shop for physical products, especially if they're selling well. If they're not selling well and you're banking on making your income off of digital products, then just get rid of them in its entirety. Okay. The whole point of the Etsy income is for it to be a semi-passive resource. And the reason why I use the word semi-passive is because you are putting a level of effort in. It's not just money on autopilot. Uh, money on autopilot, i.e. passive income, would be you putting no work in for a period of time and literally making money doing nothing. So if you were to step away from your shop for a month, not put anything into your shop whatsoever, and money was still rolling in, that money that you made that month would be passive. I digress. So I'm going to go back to um, the beginning of her shop and just scroll down here towards the bottom and see what is going on with the rest. So um, she did fill out her background, which is good. And um, talks about why she's focused on the floral designs and I mean that's fantastic so um, keep that up I like that you're in kind of like this micro niche on Etsy so you could really build a brand around these floral beautiful floral designs because they are very pretty um, you do have some information in here in your shop policies I do recommend going in there and filling those out and then you do have some facts so that's good um, this looks like it is more concentric up here on the physical products, so I would remove those. And, um, you might want to work on the fact a little bit more, but definitely get your shop policies filled out. Okay. So I'm just going to scroll up <clears throat> and choose, um, a few of these files to go through. So we can take a look at what's going on with titles and tags, because I presume that we fairly consistent across your listings okay so I'm just gonna see that some of these are more popular than others and people have them in their cart so a recommendation I would give you if you do not already is have your abandoned cart campaign set up and I have a video for um, doing that and I will post that in <clears throat> Uh, right above here and it will show you how you can set up your abandoned cart campaign and what that will do is basically send an email to people that have items in their cart and you can provide them a small discount which will nine times out of ten push them to purchase the file at a discounted price because they just didn't follow through with the purchase okay so that'll definitely help get these four people and these four people and these 12 people to uh, finish their purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one first. <clears throat> and I have to commend you because you do have a lot of images. Um, Etsy does recommend to utilize all 10 images, which sometimes can be really difficult when we're doing digital, right? Um, but you just have to think about what kind of different mock-ups you can use to achieve, um, you know, more than two or three photos and I will admit I'm guilty I have not had a lot of time to create a lot of mock-ups for my listings and so this year will be really focused on fleshing out more mock-up designs showcasing what you can use uh, files on so I do commend you for that you know you have this on a sign and a baby onesie um, you show that you could use this as a coloring page which is fantastic and again, with this, these images, I do recommend adding in that side or bottom bar that shows what kind of file types that you'll be getting, okay? So good job on that. You can also consider adding in uh, photos that basically show um, any uh, sales that you have or promo coupons that you have going on through the year. Like I have one that's 10% off too, and 
um, things like that. So you could add that in. You could add in the information about it being an instant download and that there will be no physical product. That way it is in your photographs. Um, and also you can add in another photo for social media and things like that. So that's three additional photos that you could add into your listing. So that really, really, if you're trying to fill it up, you, you can put like, you know, seven mock-ups in, which can be overkill. You don't have to fill out all 10, though it is recommended so that you can get a higher ranking in Etsy search, okay? All right, so the title is definitely keyword stuffed, okay? Etsy does not like keyword stuffing, so we I do not recommend this. I do not think that this is a good tactic to keyword stuff your title because you have 13 tags for a reason. So I would definitely recommend shortening this title up, maybe like floral rainbow SVG, uh, floral rainbow coloring page, and leave it at that, okay? Um, and then you'll want to copy and paste that title and put it as the first line in your description, which you have already done, and that is fantastic. Um, you have a good description here mentioning how you can utilize the design and your file types, though I would recommend putting transparent background on the ping. Um, also, if your DPI is set to 300, which it should be for the JPEG and the ping, you might want to mention 300 DPI JPEG and 300 DPI PNG file. Okay, you do mention that this is a digital file and that no physical item will be sent. That's fantastic. Um, you also mention if you need a different file format or would like custom text, uh, feel free to message me. Keep in mind, you can add the customization onto your listings so people can type in customization and then that will get sent to you and then you have you know time to fulfill that customization order. So keep that in mind. Um, and I, I do appreciate that you put in your time zone, um, stating that you will not answer right away, potentially, because, you know, it could be uh, 8 p.m. here, or, and it could be like, you know, 3 a.m. there when you're sleeping. So that's also a good thing and very good customer service there. Uh, you do have your terms of use, okay, and that's great. Um, and that since it's a digital download, you do not accept returns. So great job on the description. Okay, you have everything in there that I could think of. You definitely hammered on. Um, and then I just recommend, you know, this from the top down, copy and paste it, put it in a Word file, and then edit it depending on what has changed with whatever design you're looking at. Now, Etsy's done a sneaky thing. They used to have all of the tags down at the bottom here. Now they have related searches and related categories and searches, okay? So because of that, when I go through these, I'll be using Etsy Rank to show you um, what this looks like. So I'm just gonna um, copy the shop name here. I'm gonna go to Etsy Rank. And if you go to competition, and you do need Etsy Rank Pro for this, which is $10 and well worth the $10, and you go to competition and you click on listings, You can enter in a shop name and it will pull up the, mo uh, the most recent 100 uh, listings that that shop has, okay? And right now I'm gonna try to go look for this rainbow SVG so that way we can um, see what the titles and tags are. Okay, so it looks like most of the information from the title has gone over to the tags uh, keep in mind that your titles do count towards search, and so you don't necessarily have to repeat them in your tags if there are more keywords that you would like to use in your tags, okay? Um, there are a lot of high competition keywords in your tags for this, and I can tell you summer SVG, spring SVG, oh, baby onesie, get rid of onesie, that is a trademark that is a trademark issue, Gerber will find you. Um, and they do sweeps every now and again. So instead of using onesie, try something like a uh, crawler or bodysuit. Um, those two work well, and those are what I use for the one, um, my twin baby uh, listings. I use crawler or bodysuit because you will get dinged for onesie. Keep that in mind. Trademark and copyright is very important. Um, 
birthday girl SVG kind of doesn't resonate with this. It's very unrelated. You want to make sure that your tags and titles flow and that they are related or people will start searching and they'll see your SVG potentially in areas that are not um, related and that will, you know, you won't get any impressions and then you'll actually go down for your rankings, okay? So you definitely want to focus on your tags in this case and also shoring up that title to make sure it's not keyword stuffed, okay? Um, and you can do that by using Etsy rank keyword tool or you can use Marmalade keyword tool. Either one will work well to try to find some good tags for this. Um, and I do recommend using a mixture of high competition, medium competition, and low competition keywords so that you have a good mix, all right? Overall, good job. Um, I, I do think this is a really cute listing, so um, definitely keep up the good work. Mm. We'll go ahead and click on one more. I'm gonna go here because this one seems pretty popular. Again, a good amount of mock-ups here, which is fantastic. Um, I do recommend getting that side or bottom bar in, and you can do that in any graphic design program, and then just copy and paste your mock-up and get it in there how, however, you, however you need, okay? Um, I have artboards in uh, specifically for mock-ups in uh, Silhouette Studio and also for Affinity Designer and Inkscape that I just open up and paste things into depending on where I'm designing. So I can show you what that looks like if Silhouette Studio would ever load. <clears throat> and you can see that I just have this um, this is the file size for design bundles and I just take my SVG when I'm done creating it and I overlay it on this photo and then save it and I'm good to go okay um, so I do recommend getting that on these mock-up images so it takes a little bit of time but honestly it's worth it in its weight of gold because it just makes everything look more professional uh, again I would work on this title girl positive things SVG is just fine and then maybe put floral SVG or flower SVG, okay? And you don't have to continually continually repeat SVG. You put it in there once, Etsy understands that it is an SVG, okay? So you don't have to repeat. You can save yourself a couple of character strokes by not having to put that in. Um, <clears throat> another thing I noticed is a lot of these designs are very thin lines, so it may be difficult for a silhouette or Cricut machine to out in vinyl. These would be more su uh, better suited for printing cut or sublimation but one market that it looks like you're completely missing is the laser cutter and glowforge so you may want to consider adding in those types of tags um, for your listings um, another thing you don't seem to have is materials used and materials count as tags as well and you could add in um, you know I usually add in Silhouette Cameo and Cricut Design Space or, or Cricut Explore Air and then like maybe Glowforge uh, I will add in the file types in there and that seems to really help. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this one and see um, again these tags don't seem very related to the SVG here um, you do not have to continue repeating SVG uh, mental health SVG does not make sense to me I don't believe many people will be searching for that um, but you never know flower power seems a little bit unrelated that reminds me of like um, something out of the 60s and so you want to make sure that your tags are relevant because if you show up in search and they're not and people are clicking but they're not buying it's just gonna affect your uh, ranking in Etsy so keep that in mind I would definitely work on the tags for this one I think that you would get more traction with a uh, more concentric promo image, a straightforward title, and some more optimized tags. So you can use Etsy rank to accomplish that, or you can use Marmalade to accomplish that. And if you need help, feel free to reach out to me and I'm more than happy to help you, okay? Um, so I went through two listings. I went through 
um, the look and feel of the shop. And overall, I will say this is a fantastic start, okay? Um, again, I will recommend changing this text on the logo, um, separating your physical and digital products to eliminate confusion, uh, definitely work on consistency in your uh, promo images so that way uh, when somebody does click on your shop it is very um, cohesive and professional looking not that this is not professional looking please don't take that the wrong way your items are very beautiful but when somebody's purchasing and they open up a shop and they see that consistency and that professional look they're more bound to buy it's a total psychological thing okay so that will definitely help you um, keep in mind you're missing on a totally huge market out there that is up and coming now, which is the laser cutter and the glow forge. Okay, so you definitely incorporate that into your tags and tiles somewhere. Um, if you haven't already set up that abandoned cart campaign uh, with a small discount so that way people will actually finish um, their sale and work on those tiles and tags. Okay, so that's the feedback I have right now. Hopefully this will help you um, continue on your Etsy digital download journey and um, increase your traffic and sales. And for those of you who are watching this shop critique right now, if you got something out of this, please go ahead and click like and subscribe below um, as that continue that keeps me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you guys can grow your business and change your life. And if you're looking to get a shop critique, feel free to post a comment below and let me know uh, why you're looking for one and uh, what you're looking to get out of it, and I'll be more than happy to provide that. Um, normally I do charge, but for the next month or so, I'll be doing these for free, so look out for that. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I will catch you on the next one. Have a good night.